How's it going guys? Mazi here and welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. It has been forever since the last tutorial I know, uh, about a year ago. Um, but we're back now, Law's back, and we're on the grind. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. Today's tutorial topic will be about CC. Uh, I'll be showing you guys how you can do two different CCs. Um, one is like the summer vibe CC, which is this one right here. Uh, this was sort of like requested as well on my last tutorial with the trickster. I like the, like the sort of the orange and summer vibey look. So I'll be covering that today. Um, the second one will be sort of like the dramatic CC. Uh, this fits sort of like the uh, sad. Uh, heartbreaks uh, edits or songs whatever you want to call it um, so two different CC's and I'll be showing you guys how you can uh, make them yourself uh, but before we jump to the tutorial you guys do need the magic bullet looks um, plugin if you don't have that I won't be covering how you can get it in this tutorial uh, there's a bunch of other tools out there on how you can get it so if you don't have it go get it first then come back to this tutorial and check it out yourself um, but I won't be covering this one uh, level of difficulty for this is when it from 1 to 10 I would say this is really a 2 maybe it's very very easy to follow along and to do everything because I'll show you guys how you can do it also project file will be free so you can you know download it for yourself and save the presets but I highly urge you guys to follow along and see how I do it first just in case so so that you know when you do get a scene that's a little bit too dark or too light you can adjust it and you can mess around with the effects and uh, to your liking so let's jump into tutorial so here is a rock comp and uh, no CC at all and this is a still frame image uh, usually what I like to do is when I like to add a CC I don't for example let's go to effects right here effects <clears throat> red giant color suite and magical looks I don't like adding the effect on the uh, clip layer itself instead what I like to do is control Y to bring up an adjustment layer I'm gonna be splitting this to here okay I like to add my effects on adjustment layer instead of like the clip itself. Uh, that way it's a little bit more organized and it's just overall a lot better. So back to Red Giant Color Suite Magic Little Looks. Oops. Okay. So the first one I'll be showing you guys to do is the the orange CC or rather the Summer Vibe CC here. Uh, let's go ahead and go into edit <clears throat> and now first things first let's add some crush so go to your tools bar over here and you'll see crush right over here add that in and with crush really all you guys need to do is just move this color over here sort of to the orange slash yellowy side and then adjust it like so mm, this should this looks nice right about there should be fine next things I'm going to be adding some curves curves should be around here camera and now for the curves all you guys need to do for the curves is with the contrast over here just mess around with it let's go positive over here though let's make it like so this should be fine 1.5 should be fine don't go anywhere below uh, 0 0.5 and don't go anywhere upwards to like 2 or 3 you can do that but it just, it'll look for example oops, it's too uh, saturated it's too cause it show too much and just shows I mean it just ruins the uh, clip overall so this should be fine and 1.6 should be okay alrighty next we'll be adding some saturation right over here 
with saturation all you guys really need to do is just mess around with the saturation over here we don't need to mess around with the green I mean sorry the red green or blue let's go let's turn this down a little bit a little more 80 should be fine right okay this should be good. already a big difference and if you go over here to the tool chain and turn it off you can see the clip before and then after so already a huge huge difference let's add one more thing let's add some lens distortion lens lens distortion so when you add lens distortion you know the the uh the preset that's just built in right away it doesn't look too good so to fix this we're gonna be doing it a little bit negative over here flattening it out to 80. this looks really really nice in my opinion mm, like this because on the edges over here it just makes it look a little bit more pop it just makes it pop a lot more so that's all there is to it there we go this looks really nice and that's the that's all there is to this uh, that's the crush you see right here for the summer vibe CC all we uh, all we did is add some crush add some saturation some lens distortion and some curves click finished and then voila before after looks really really nice that's all there is to it that wasn't really complicated at all was it so pretty pretty easy okay so for the next one same scene go ahead to effects and go to red giant magic bill looks and let's edit this out <clears throat> So for this, since it's a dramatic CC, first things first, let's add some color ranges here. And for the color ranges, all you guys really need to do is just mess around with the, uh, just mess around with the overall. Let's let's make this a little bit more to the right side. Okay. Here, orange. That should be fine. And the last bit, torn it all the way down. So it should be like the shadows look over here. Move this up a little bit. Okay. What about the green? Okay. Next, we'll be adding some curves to this. Now curves is going to change it a lot, watch this. See how it's already changing? Curves is a really, really powerful effect in Magic World looks. Got contrast, highlights, and then shadows. I can turn down the shadows a little bit more. That should be fine. Okay, now for, let's add some saturation to this. one down the saturation to 50 should be fine let's go back to this too much too much too much okay there's just a lot of playing around with this okay, that should be fine Next, we'll add some diffusion. Where's <clears throat> diffusion? Diffusion. Should be over here. There's diffusion. We're going to tone down the size of the diffusion real quick. It 
this should be okay. Again, it's, all just, it's mainly just playing around with the clip and with the uh, with the settings over here. If you have too much diffusion, as you can see, it's just too much blurry on the side and just doesn't look all that good. So we're gonna turn that a little bit down. <clears throat> Let's see. Next, we'll add some contrast. Contrast should be under matte. Contrast, contrast. This contrast. We don't have we don't want to have too much exposure here, so let's turn this down. Go back to this. Okay. Curves maybe. There we go. I guess a lot of playing around with it back and forth, really. Shadows need to be a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna add one really, really important fact and that's going to bring this all together and that's called vintage vintage is under i think yep yeah, lens let me show you without vintage with vintage without with and obviously we're going to mess around with this so let's make it a little bit more like that exposure lower that down be fine. Scale it in. Feather it out. I'm doing this really fast for the sake of time, but hopefully you get the idea. Lower that down. Okay. Radius. We don't want too much radius. Exposure, lower that down. That should be fine. And we're all done. That is the dramatic CC. Before, after. Before, after. So, two different CCs. Again, the summer vibey orange CC and the dramatic one. Hopefully you guys liked those two, like that. Um, another cool way to, for like for some whatever reason, if you don't have vintage or whatever, uh, say for example, let's just say I want to add vintage, like soften these edges right over here. Control Y to add a mask, make sure the mask is set to black. And over here, to your shape uh, tool. If you don't see the ellipse tool, keep uh, hitting Q, Q, Q until you get it and then double click it. And then click M on mask. And then when you see the mask for the black solid over here, click inverted. When you do that, after you do that, click F to feather it and then feather this out. And then you can just get this vintage over here. Uh, people do this with a lot of effects. For example, there's a transition. A lot of you probably seen um, that uses this technique, and so it's really, really helpful. Not only for just making CC, but just making it look nice in general. So that's just one way of doing that. But that's that. 
uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know this was a little bit maybe short, maybe too quick. I don't did not want to drag this out too long. Um, hopefully you guys uh, learned something. And again, the project file will be in the description so you guys can check it out yourself. Uh, save the preset if you like and use it or just mess around with it to your liking. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and uh, take care.